there's a lot of people in the Yu-Gi-Oh community that would just like start the videos off by giving like a motivational like pep talk. Usually I'm not one of those guys who do it, but I feel like I can be like the sister, gonna give you a bit better understanding of why this is important. And today it's why we should learn to give up sometimes. Sometimes it's actually good enough to where you just call it where it is. It's not a great thing to do, but sometimes you do honestly realize that like it's a good enough point where you gotta start pushing yourself away from this position you're in and realize that it's just not worth continuing. And to correlate that with today's video, I'm gonna talk about my adventures at regionals this weekend. I'm not a fan of Runic anymore. I went to regionals with Runic for Hire Sprite. It was a very interesting deck, and as Joshua Schmidt would tell you in his most recent video, it's definitely not a new person pick up type deck. It's not even like moderate player type pick up deck. It is definitely a you need to be the competitive, competitive type player who understands every line of combo and like every form of things you can write in board with this deck and hope to God your opponent doesn't have the exact out. It's a rough deck. I loved it in practice and about a week before the event. And and then I constantly kept getting ruined over and over and over and over in practice. And I finally went to regionals thinking that it's just like accidental or it's just like a YGO Omega event type thing. And my first three matches before the lunch break were constantly me just being ruined by a bunch of decks. First match was against Flu, I got double shifted, I just could not play the game. Second match was against, I don't remember, but then I just got drolled. And then third round was against Branded, which I did put up a moderate fight against, but Branded can still play through five to six interruptions and still end on an OTK board. I don't know why people still think that Branded's like an okay deck, it genuinely is just being get kept out of like top position by Labyrinth and Kashira. Sprite's definitely not an issue with it right now, since Mirror Jade is a very hard counter to that deck, but it's definitely being like held back right now by other decks. After round four, where I was put up against Kashira player and was shifted twice, that was my point where I went, okay, we're, we're done with the main event today. And I played some medicine and I immediately got lost in that match as well. All right, it's, it's time to go home at that point. It taught me a lot about the deck. It taught me that I'm mentally not prepared to play this deck yet. I'm, I definitely don't have the skills or practice enough but i think it's a really good deck with that in mind i want to talk about where we're going to move forward with this format and that is with twin sprite no runic Currently, Live Twin Sprite is going to be the main deck I play. It's a very fun deck, it's genuinely interesting to play, and it has that right amount of non-engine in my eyes, which is like half the deck. But that's, that's really what this video is, is just understanding your limits, pushing, understanding when to stop, but also understanding how to adapt to them and improve them on a different day. So that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, it's just been me of a, more of a minor discussion with me today, but uh, thank you for watching. Bye.